Rock at the hole, rock at the old shy. Rock at the hole, rock at the old shy. Bashim Rakakadash. Rock at that means bless you. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Rock at that means bless you. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten of the Heavenly Father. Bashim Rakakadash. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who was taught us this truth. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole full act, the sincere. All right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 10. And I'm going to start at, uh, I'm going to start at one. It says, Why sendest thou far off, O Yahweh, which hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? All right, because really, if you don't know this, we're living in times of trouble. All right, Jacob's trouble didn't officially hit yet. Like Apostle Dara said, when it's Jacob's trouble, you're going to know it's Jacob's trouble. All right, but we live in, in times of trouble because of this. This is uh, Job chapter 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, the wicked is in, a, is in rulership right now. The wicked is ruling, okay? So what? The righteous, those that have faith in Yahweh, Bashun, Yahweh, Shai, they're suffering right now. They're troubled, all right? They're being attacked by the wicked, okay? This is Psalms chapter 10, verse 2. It says, the wicked and his pride doth persecute the poor. And who's the poor? The poor is the elect of the nation of Israel, all right? Pursuing the James where it says, have not the Most High chosen, all right, the poor of this world, rich in faith? All right, we're poor, all right? The elect, they're needy. They know they need, all right, the Lord, okay? They know they need righteousness on the earth, all right? And the wicked is persecuting them, okay? It says, let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. And Yahweh Bashun Shai is going to allow the wicked to be taken in his own devices, all right? And we see examples of that right now, Okay? Because what? The so-called white man, the devil, which is the wicked, he created abortion clinics, all right, as a way to uh, kill off Israelites. That's why you see Planned Parenthood and all these abortion clinics in the ghettos, okay, where Jake live, all right? But now, okay, abortions are illegal in Alabama and in Georgia, all right, and Esau, all right, the so-called white race, they're trying to get it um, banned nationwide. Because Esau is dying, all right? The so-called white race has a negative birth rate, all right? Because what? They're faggots, all right? And they're rebellious to the Heavenly Father, all right? But also they abort their children at a high rate. So Esau is trying to ban that, okay? That's him being taken in his own device that he imagined because that was created and established to kill off Jake, all right? But who's getting killed off by? It's Esau, okay? Another great example, all right, is the thermonuclear missiles, Esau created that to, to put fear in the nations around the earth and to establish his power. But what? The Lord is going to use those missiles to destroy Esau himself. All right? It's the righteousness of the Heavenly Father. This is verse 3. It says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. And that's what this society is all about. All right? Men... Like, the most successful people are the, those that are covetous, all right? As it says, he blessed them, all right, whom the Lord abhorred. The Lord hates. He, he's away from the covetous. All right, verse 4, it says, The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The, the Most High is not in all his thoughts, all right? It's lucky about that. I can't. Damn, bro. All right, so, yeah. All right, the Most High is not in the thoughts of the wicked. Okay, he doesn't think about the Most High. He doesn't think about the, the fear of the Lord is nowhere near him. He doesn't think about the consequences of his actions. Okay? He doesn't even believe the Most High is real. Okay? He believes in so-called science. Okay? It says, His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are, are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at him at them. All right? The, the, the so-called white man, his ways are grievous. All right, this way of life we're living right now is a grievous life. All right, 
Brothers can barely sustain themselves. Brothers can barely, you know, get a house or, you know what I'm saying, take care of their children. Only through the grace of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai are we making it through this place, all right? Because his ways are grievous. Even those that are making it through it, they're what? They're in hardcore debt because of school, you see? It says, he have said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity, all right? This, this is the so-called white man, all right? It's the wicked, man, all right? He, 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 he's a liar, okay? The scriptures say he was a liar from the beginning. When he speak of a lie, he speaketh of himself. And what's one of the things that he lies about? All right, this is Psalms chapter 14, verse 1. It says, the fool has said in his heart, and to be a fool means you're stupid or you're mentally retarded, meaning you're slow. And the so-called white man, he's mentally retarded, all right? It says, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good, all right? The so-called white man is a fool, and he believes that there's no God. That's, that's part of that deceit, that blasphemy that he speaks, all right? Not only does he say that there's no God, he says that he is the most high, all right? It says, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. All right, that's an abominable work. All right, to say that you're the heavenly Father, man. Not only that, what the what the wicked says you could do in society, he he uplifts and exalts evil. All right, homosexuality, pedophilia, bestiality, GMO foods. Okay, that's abominable works. It says there is none that doeth good. So this society is nothing but evil. Righteousness and good is not done in society. Nothing but evil and wickedness. All right, that's why the Heavenly Father is going to come back, has to come back, all right? Because he's going to set everything all right. Okay? This is, uh, we'll go ahead and go to the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. It says, surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. All right. So the so-called white man, he's vain. All right. First of all, the so-called white man, Esau, is a heathen. And the scriptures say that the heathen, the nations, they are less than vanity. You see, it says who are ignorant of the most high and could not out of the good things that are seen know him that is. Who is him that is? That's Yahweh. Yahweh means he is. He to be. He exists. Okay. They don't acknowledge the heavenly father, nor do they acknowledge his son. Okay. But hey, they, they look at the works. Look at the animals. All right. Look at the plants, how, how the plants work. Look, look at the, us. Look at our bodies, the way our bodies work perfectly. All right. In order and in harmony with the earth. All right. That alone is supposed to make you acknowledge the work master. All right. But the, but the wicked is a fool. All right. He's proud. Verse two, it says, but deemed either fire or wind, the swift air or the circle of the stars or the violent water. Or the lights of heaven to be the gods which govern the world. And what does that sound like? Sounds like science. All right. The fire, the wind, the swift air, the circle of the stars. See, the so-called white man, he, he calls so-called science to be God. Okay. With this big bang theory. All right. And these different lies that he pushes forth. All right. Verse three, it says, with whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods of course the, the heavenly father his creation is beautiful okay the women that he created the uh the the planets the galaxies the uh you know the herbs all the different things the animals all the different things that the heavenly father created of course is beautiful but that doesn't mean that it's a god all right it says verse three it says with whose beauty if they being delighted took them to be gods let them know how much better the Lord of them is for the first author of beauty have created them. So if, if the Lord, if the creation is beautiful 
how much more beautiful is the Creator, the Heavenly Father? How about Shimon Yal Shai? Okay? But the wicked, because he's proud, he's not going to acknowledge that. All right, he's going to lie to the people. Okay? And he's going and he's going to say that he's the heavenly father. Okay? This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 13. It's talking about the wicked. It says, "For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I'll sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend I will ascend above the heights of the clouds." I'll be like the most high. All right. And the, the so-called white man, he literally says he's the most high. He says he's the heavenly father. All right. We read Job 9 and 24, cover the face of the judges thereof. If you Google God or if you Google the angels or if you Google the Israelites, you're going to get white people, that so-called white looking people. All right. Which is blasphemy. The heavenly father is dark, dark skin. All right. The, the son is dark skin. All right. The, the so-called Negroes on the planet Earth, they look like the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right? But the so-called white man, he, he, not only does he say in how he looks, but he says it, it, his actions, what he says is the law. All right? The so-called white man says, it's okay, all right, for a woman to love a woman, for a man to love a man, for a man to love, love a child. Okay? But the Heavenly Father says that's evil, okay? It says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. That's the beautiful thing. The Lord is going to take down this, down this fool, okay? He's going to be brought down to hell, which means destruction, to death, to the grave, to the sides of the pit. All right, the so-called white man, he's not going to be able to rule forever. All right? That's just, that's just not going to happen, Okay? Uh, this is Job 14 and 5. It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. And the, whose days are determined? The wicked. The number of his months are with thee. His days are with who? The heavenly father. Okay. Yahweh Bashin Yashai has appointed time that the wicked is going to be able to rule. Okay. It says, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Okay, the the uh the wicked is not gonna rule a second longer than what is appointed. Okay, look at all of his evil works. All right, the so-called white man says he's the heavenly father. He says the heavenly father looks like him. All right, he says the heavenly father ways are evil. All right, you think that's gonna last forever? No, that's corruptible. That's abominable. That's only temporal. Okay, this is the book of um, Psalms. Chapter 37, verse 1. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So you're not supposed to get all, you know, you're not supposed to fret yourself or get all carried away over evildoers. The so-called white man is an evildoer. All right? It says, Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So-called white man, all he does is spread forth evil. All he does is spread forth lie. Lies, okay, but what? They're they're rich. They're the richest people on the planet. They're wealthy. They got everything that their heart uh, could desire. All right, and we're we're out here in poverty, poor. Okay, you're not supposed to be envious of that. Okay, and this is the reason. Because why? Verse two. It says, "For they shall soon be cut down, like the grass, and wither as the green herb." The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. It's going to cut them down like the grass. They're going to wither like the green herb. Are right, they going to be destroyed? Okay. The time, uh, the time for lies is at a complete and utter end. All right. The time for lying, the time for the wicked to be in rulership is it, over. Okay. Any moment the Lord's going to come down and he's going to destroy the wicked. He's going to take them out of power. All right, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 6, all right, verse 27. It says, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. And how is that going to happen? How is that going to occur? 
Yahweh Bashim Yashah is going to come to the earth which he made. He's going to destroy the so-called white man. He's going to take the so-called white man. He's going to put him in slavery. He's going to put the heathens in slavery. And he's going to rule righteously on the planet Earth. So I'm going to read that again. Second Edges 6 and 27. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. Okay? The truth is going to be declared. And the truth is being declared. All right, corruption is going to be overcome. All right, all that death, all right, that's going forth on the planet Earth, all this disease, this sadness, this bitterness, the Lord is coming to uh, put that to an end, okay? And the way of putting this disease and this evil and this, this wretched world to an end, the Lord's going to have to take out the so-called white man, the devil, that the Bible speaks of. This is Sirach chapter 10, verse 10. It says, the physician cutteth off a long disease. And who is the physician? We know that physician to be Yahweh Shai. All right, cutteth off a long disease. What is that disease? That cancer of the earth It's the wicked. It's the so-called white man. All right, it's the fool that says there's no God. All right, so the true power has to cut that fool off. All right, Sirach 10 and 10. The physician cutteth off a long disease. And he that is today a king, tomorrow shall die. All right, so the man that's in rulership right now is going to be as though he was never in rulership tomorrow. He's, he's gone. He's done for, as it is written. All right, so Lord willing, this was an edifying video. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Shalom to the sincere, all right, of the nation of Israel. A Baba Ball, which means dead to America. Shalom.